YouTube, what is up? This is Kicks 35 coming at you today with another video. In today's video, I got a pickup in. These just came out today. I was able to scoop these up right before I went to work. And we got the Air Jordan Retro 4 Tech Gray White Oreo. That's what they're calling them. They come in this special box. So you have your traditional Jordan 4 box below, but they've been switching the lids up, making them different colors to match. Like the UNC's had the white and the baby blue, so forth and so forth. You already know. So the color is for we have white, fire red, and tech gray. Let's take a look at what these look like. Tick the box. And we picked them up at Foot Locker. Nice house of hoops bag. So to open them up, you got your cement paper. Woo! These are clean. These are super super clean yeah i like these no extra laces unfortunately but let's put this box to the side all right so coming back we got the uh white oreo white tech gray jordan 4 whatever you want to call it it's pretty much an all white jordan 4 similar to the metallics i would say in the metallic pack with the different colors but on these lace crowns you have the gray with the splatter black and then you have the splatter on the midsole, just like what's on the UNC's with the gray and the splatter and the cement fours with the gray and the splatter. I have both of those over there. I will give you uh, a couple B-roll shots of those shoes next to each other. Comparing these to the uh, black Oreos or just the regular Jordan 4 Oreos, we never really call them black Oreos. I don't like the name white Oreo for these, just because in my opinion is um, you don't have this netted. And it was a it was a different material, but things that are similar is so like unlike you know the cement fours where you have your traditional Jordan flight patch in the tongue, it was similar because those the Orioles and the Columbias they just had the straight you know um, leather tongue with just the embroidered jump man on it. So I mean that is one thing that I do like. The only thing I wish they would have done separate with the shoe is to kind of keep it in that theme of you know like with the other oreos that released prior back in 99 and then i think they retroed in 2015 is that they would have got rid of this netting i would have liked to shoe a lot more without the netting because the netting does yellow um you know over time and everything like that and i mean if we didn't have the netting on this we would have just got that leather and would have been just like that these shoes would have lasted me a long time because i don't mess my shoes up like that but i mean it is what it is can't get everything that we want but jumping back into review, it's all leather, no plastic back here. You got your gray Jumpman on the back. Um, no Nike Air because it's not an OG colorway or like a collab. All white bottom with your little bit hit of tech gray at the top and your red Jumpman underneath. Um, the leather on these is really, really nice. Um, I think the leather to me is better than what was on the Pure Money 4s that released a couple years ago. Um, I didn't pick up any of the metallic um pack colorway so i wouldn't know what to say about that but not as good as the columbia's or the previous oreos i had those in hand i don't have them any longer but i mean i do like the leather that's on there pushes in real nice real soft um you do have like this upper layer seems to be like a little bit more tumbled than like down here but and you know it's actually kind of like three different leathers when you look at it so like here is about similar to what there is, and then here's like the most tumbled of them. And you can also kind of tell on the back. See, it's a little bit stiffer up here, a little bit softer down there, but that's not a big deal. I mean, not really too much to go over in the shoe. I mean, it's basically all white shoe with the tech gray. Um, I'm gonna show you some B-roll of the other shoes, and then we're gonna hit you with an on foot of these. Um, yeah, these are staying in the collection. Um, I like them because it's a nice clean alternative if you don't want to mess your cement fours up because you don't know, ever know when they're going to, you know, retro that one. And that's an OG, like to keep that one in good condition. So this is a nice compromise. I mean, to me, this is similar to how you have like the white cement and then like the infrared 23. I mean, it's a nice spinoff colorway of the Jordan 4 um, cement. I mean, if you're a newer sneakerhead and you wasn't collecting shoes back then or you happen to be younger and your foot size has changed, I mean, these ain't a bad alternative than to spend the bread on a brand new pair of uh, the Cement Force. I mean, this is nice. So um, that's it for today's video. Check out the on foot at the end. This is Nick's Kicks 35. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all your in-depth sneaker reviews. We get into them. I show you up close shots of them, honest opinions, and nothing but legit kicks. 
that's it for today's video and i'm out peace so here's the on foot part of the video the jordan fours i would recommend going true to size with these um you could even go down half a size i felt like these fit pretty um large compared to some of my other jordan uh fours but very nice clean shoe got it stacked with some uh, skinny jeans right there and here we're going to take a look at the bird's eye view uh, nice toe view i love this shoe shoe super comfortable um can't go wrong with these and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching the video, and I'm out. Peace.